Mila. Hi. Hi, cutie. We're gonna make Mila a star right now. Mila, what was your favorite song on the album? You're not one of my friends because I trust them. Plus hey guys, so today I'm gonna be giving you an inside look at another song from Love You Goodbye, which is called One of My Friends. And this is one of my friends, Milo. You wanna say hi? Still hates me. When I met you, it felt like I knew. This one is definitely the most sassy and was the most fun to write. It's basically like saying screw you. This is the one that I produced the most of, including all the little sounds that you hear, um, real life sounds on the track. Love, then you became a psychopath. When I first started this track, it's really weird. I actually started it in like a really R&B kind of place. I wanted it to have some of those like island sounds that are so popular in today's music. I, I think it landed somewhere in the middle. I would be lying if I said another reference track for this wasn't This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things. I was thinking about Underdog by Banks, Get Some by Ghosted, a little bit of Megan Trainor. An initial reaction to getting hurt is to throw up a defense mechanism. The first reaction that you can sometimes feel when you get broken up with, which is like to defend yourself and be angry and not take any responsibility and just blame the other person. So yeah, this is probably the most different song on the album. And it's about trying to convince yourself that you're fine and that you can get over it and that you don't need the other person. It really exemplifies the fake bravado and cockiness uh, that's prevalent in the early days of the breakup. Like, I don't need them. I'm better off without them. People try and be polite after a breakup and say like, we'll still be friends. Like, I want to keep in touch. I will still want you in my life. But I think initially there's got to be like some kind of a clean break just so you can move on and, and learn how to be without the other person. At a certain point you hit like FU phase of like just not caring and, and or pretending not to care. Being friends with someone that you used to love is this weird gray area and it's like in between and that was where we lived for a long time after the breakup. Be one of my friends. That fake bravado can be kind of motivating and it is a roller coaster but not all of the emotions, funnily enough, associated with a breakup are bad. Not every single day that I've been going through it this year have I woken up and cried. Like, obviously, I wouldn't know how I would get anything done. This one is kind of about one of the good moments of like, hey, like, I realized what I am. I realized me and my friends are amazing. You're not one of my friends because I like The idea for the title actually started, um, when I was thinking about like, what would I tell one of my girlfriends going through this? I wouldn't want them to feel like they're not worthy of love or that everything was their fault. And so I kind of wrote it from as if one of my friends was going through a breakup. This song opens with the first time that the lovers meet, which is also similar to the end of, or the beginning of Love You Goodbye. You can really, really quickly go from strangers to best friends to lovers with somebody, it can happen really, really fast. I felt like I knew you before I even met you. Like that was really true from my experience. I also think the fact that our relationship was public had a lot to do with um, just some of the stress in our lives and, and in our relationship. I think it was very hard for me to separate, um, you know, who he was to the world and to his fans versus like who he was when he was with me. For a moment, it feels good to take the pressure off of myself and just not take any responsibility, even though that's like not true. It obviously is both people's fault. There are three sides to every story, your side, my side, and the truth. All the metaphors that I use in this song of pretending, fakeness, facades. On a certain level, those are all themes that I struggled with. You're forgotten, but not forgiven. I kind of was playing on another trope that people say in breakups. It's like, forgive and forget. Obviously, I always think it's better to forgive if you can and not hold any grudges. In the moments after a breakup, all you want to do is convince yourself that you're so busy and you're living your best life and like you've just completely forgotten about the other person. This song was kind of like just being super confident and kind of trying to convince myself that like that part of my life was forgotten. Also in a more subtle way, this song is a shout out to my best friends um, who have been there for me a lot this past year. I've kept a really tight circle of women in my life for a reason. You know, my friends have been there for me through everything and I think it's really easy and just natural when you're in a relationship, a committed relationship to forget about your friends. And sometimes like after my first breakup, 
you've become so enmeshed in that one person that by the time you get out of the relationship and go back to your friends, you have a completely different mindset and um, you're a completely different person and you don't even get along with those friends anymore. I do think if you have a really solid core group of friends to keep you grounded, nothing can really keep you down. No, we can't go from lovers back to friends, not because it's too hard, but because I can't trust you and I wouldn't want you to even be one of my friends at this point. If you weren't being a good lover, if it didn't work out, if you weren't being a good boyfriend, why would I want you as one of my friends? And it's also saying, if you were one of my friends and you hurt me like this, I wouldn't keep you around. Guys, just like a quick side note, post pictures of your pets. Just as important as it is for you to have a group of friends in your life that matter and that keep you grounded, a good, solid man's best friend, woman's best friend. Are you excited for the album to come out? Yeah. Actually, I do think this is Milo's favorite because he was hearing some of the weird sounds in the production when I was working on it the other night. He was like barking at it, like what the hell is that? And I was trying out actually a couple of um, tiger roars and things and he was kind of like, mm, nuts. It won't happen again. So I don't know at what point this is gonna be coming out. I'm, I'm thinking right now that, that one of my friends is gonna be the second song in the album. Right now I'm actually working on the album art, which has been a struggle. I have so many ideas and so many things I wanna incorporate into it. I'm not making it by the way, I can't really design things. I've made a few album arts in the past and you can tell which ones I made because they're terrible. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop the camera on real quick and show you what I'm working on right now. I'm working on um, one of my friends. Right now this is all me. This is all things that I've added to it. I recorded and tracked vocals the other day. So as you can see uh, down here I have a ton of tracks and they're all color coded which makes it a little easier but it still can get confusing. I wish that you could hear it like through the headphones because it sounds even better but I came up with this little kind of like harmonica thing and I'll play it for you guys. Felt like I knew you Not your facade with the mask but the true you Soon I was telling the world you were my best friend You're not one of my friends because I trust them Plus friends don't break each other You don't get to pretend like you're one of my friends There's just a couple synths, organ uh, bass and then the whole intro part I overlapped a bunch of different sound effects like a record player scratch and some static and then right before the chorus this little thing you hear that's actually a boxing ding <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna end up staying it'll be cool to see like documenting that it might be a different sound hey I like the beginning. I actually don't know what like radio sound thing you used in there, but I really liked whatever it was. So okay. Like feel free to send me that. I feel like it's a little bit more um like on the nose pop than the other ones. Yeah. Just overall, I feel like just the way things are going right yeah. now, it feels really good because everything is very like cohesive. Yeah. But I feel like it might it might feel good to have like one or two things that like mess up the feel a little bit. I might have to play with the order some more, but then I've been trying to stay away from writing ballads um, because I have so many out. I mean, for me, it's much more modern and um, it's got a lot more beats and like things people can move to. And I kind of like that because I also realized like when I'm going through shit, like I don't put on Adele or like sad songs. Yeah, there's definitely something to be said for like not listening to sad music when you're sad and making yourself feel 10 times worse. Exactly. Yeah. But I might continue to write and see what that see what happens. Yeah, thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Anyways, I have to go walk Milo, but thank you guys so much for watching. Twitter Instagram links are <laughs> Twitter Instagram links are in the description. He's saying love you goodbye. Be kind to yourself and love you goodbye. It won't happen again.